Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. teacher. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Glad to see you today. Uy, we have poquitos students today. Let me send them a reminder here so they connect to classes. <laughs> Let me see. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Now we're going to start here and we start with. Today is Friday, the 19th. Ana Ruth Rivas Arevalo. Present teacher. Very good. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudas. Presente. Claudia Yavilet Coreas. Presente. Elsie Noemí Alemán Gómez. Presente teacher. Hermando Díaz Celaya. Hermando Díaz. Irma Beatriz Molina Enríquez. Presente. Javier Antonio Cortés Martínez. Presente. Jefferson Rosa Landa Verde. Jorge Alexander Valencia Hernández. Jorge Balmore Mejía. José Carlos Chévez Chévez. José David Escalante Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carola y Silva Ríos. Mirna Elizabeth Ramos Martínez. Pedro Manuel Quintanilla Morales. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Robinson Alberto Moreno Agudelo. Present teacher. Talma Mabel Ayala Aristondo. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Presente teacher. Wendy Guadalupe Flores Cibrián. Presente, teacher. Yeah. Eh, Marvin Godofredo Palacios Nájera. Marvin. Víctor Antonio Beltrán Flamenco. Present, teacher. Okay. Very good. So we have the attendance for today. Uh, like I said, welcome everyone to the class, right? Thank you for being here. And we have, well, we have 13 students. Tres estudiantes. Ya algo. Ya no estamos aquí. Con poquitín, okay. Yeah. Let me put here one moment. I'm just gonna access something here. Okay, so today is class number 14, right? It's class number 14. And with our class for today, right, since it's class 14, we continue working with uh, with simple present in unit three, right? Where, where do you work? And today we're gonna do different topics, but I would like to start with this, right? We have some WH questions that we are going to use to ask right now, okay? Please take a screenshot or do something there so you can have your questions over there. Tómenle captura a las preguntas porque estas no son solo para acá, nos pueden servir para otras cosas. Okay, so take notes, please. Do you have it? ¿Las Muy tienen ya? Listo, teacher. Uh, excellent, very okay. good. Very good. Now, okay. yes, teacher. what we're going to do, right, is that we're going to start with the speaking activity and in groups, we are going to ask each other these questions, okay? For example, if I am in the group, I can ask Caroline. Hi, Caroline, um, let's talk about holidays. Holidays. 
What do you think is holidays? ¿Qué creen que significa holidays? Eh, día libres. Ok, días libres, festividades. Right? Very good. So, Caroline, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is uh, Sunday. Sunday. No, but día libre es un day off. Es un día regular. Día de toda la okay. semana. Un holiday hey. is special. Uh -huh. mm, eh, día la madre. How do you say? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay. Why do you like Mother's Day? <coughs> Eh, because I don't have to be because I eh, it's important <laughs> because it's important okay now we're going to think right now about the different questions right now we have here I want you to look at the vocabulary that we have hi teacher hi Rafael welcome to the class I'm sorry I'm sorry for the, for the time <laughs> Don't worry, Rafael, you're on time. Now, we have here food. What is the meaning of food? Cocinar. Cocinar, no. Comida. 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 Very good. Food. Holidays, festividades. Right? Holidays, días festivos. Right? Friends. What is friends? Amigos. Very good. Movies? Películas. Very good. And birthday? Y el cumpleaños. Cumpleaños. Okay, very good. And if we look at all the questions, right, all the questions are in simple present and the verb to be, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to go, we already have the questions. We're going to go in groups of three or four. Vamos a irnos en grupos de tres o cuatro. Y... Vamos a ir a practicar estas preguntas, right? Tenemos cinco tarjetas. We have five cars, right? Choose at least three. Traten de practicar con por lo menos tres. Si pueden todas, todas, okay? You're going to have enough time to talk. Now, you are not going to write anything. No los mando a escribir nada. Los mando a hablar, okay? You're going to go and practice your speaking. I practice your speaking. After you finish, we're going to come back and you are going to ask the questions and answer the questions. Van a hacer un role play acá. Van a responder así como le respondieron. Lo único que aquí, yo voy a decidir quién le pregunta a quién. Ya no va a ser con su mismo equipo. Right? Así que no escriban nada. Solamente okay. practiquen. Okay? Practiquen. Now, um, we have... I think all of the words are, are uh, good. What is your favorite dish? Dish is platillo, right? Como mi platillo favorito, my favorite dish, right? Uh, let's dish. see. Actors, movies. I, I think all of the all of the words are very, very uh, fundamentals to practice right now. Very basic. So we're gonna be okay. Right. ¿Ya tomaron su captura todos de, la, de las preguntas? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. So let's start. We're going to get to work right now. Vamos a ir a trabajar. Right. Si alguien necesita ayuda, recuérdense que hay un botón donde podemos pedir ayuda, right? Ahí dice, pedí no. ask for help. Usted le da clic y yo voy rápido a su equipo, ¿ok? Now, let's go. Vámonos. Vamos a practicar nuestro vocabulario. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Choose your group, Javier, Irma, Claudia, Jose David. Select your groups, please. Jorge Alexander, Claudia Coreas, Robinson Agudelo.
Jorge Alexander. Javier. Ah, bueno. Ay. Me disculpe. El paseo. Disculpado. Okay. <laughs> eh, remember, remember that you can share the com in the computer. You can share the questions. Pueden compartir las preguntas así todos las ven, ¿ok? Mira, okay. Una, una, una pregunta. Este, ¿Sí? nos vamos a preguntar, ver, por ejemplo, de food. Eh, cada quien nos vamos a preguntar qué es lo que nos gusta de los tres que estamos aquí, bueno, de los cuatro. Uh -huh. Van a usar las preguntas Esto que ya están. Bien. Sí, ya están las preguntas. Solo ah, van bye. a realizar las preguntas. Ok. Bye, Very good. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fue la otra ella. Ah, buena cadona. Buena cadona, dale. What is your food favorite? What is your favorite dish? Dice ahí. What is your favorite dish? This, I'm sorry, this. Pero mire, esa captura no se le ve bien. No sé si será no, mi inter. No, no se ve bien. Si gusta, comparta una, la, la que alguien que la tenga mejor. O le mando a usted la, la captura, Rafa. Usted la estaba compartiendo, ¿verdad, Rafa? Sí, sí, teacher. Le voy a mandar otra aquí al, al, al chat de WhatsApp. Vale, está bien. Para que la tenga más bonita, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. O pueda que sea el Inter, no sé, dependerá. Uh -huh. Aquí la estoy enviando. Ok. Creo que sí, esta será mejor. Vale, comparten esa, quiero ver. Ok, ahorita. Perfecto. Sí. Esto okay. se ve mejor. Ok, <ríe> gracias. Te dejo trabajar entonces. Bye bye. Ok, bye, teacher. Rafa. ¿Me escuchas, Rafa? Sí, te escucho. Al sol, tenía poder el micrófono. Hoy sí. <ríe> Dale, pues. What is your favorite dish? Dish. Uh, a Ana Rugo o a mí? A vos. A mí. Ah, my, my, favorite, my favorite food is, is um, uh, panes con pollo. <laughs> Es platillo. Bread for chicken. Excelente. Ajá. No, bread, bread, es pan y chicken. chicken. Ajá. Vaya. Uh, where do you like it? A mí. I Bread. eat. I, I like, I like pupusa. Pupusas? Sí, yeah. Where, where do you eat? Eat. I eat tamales right now. Every day. <laughs> no, only, only today, only today. <laughs> Who else do you cook? Ah, ya, ese, ese es. do you cook it? I, I eat. What do you eat? Eso entiendo que el verbo es, 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 com, es mm, comer, ¿verdad? Pero eat es... 
es when, ah, it, perdón, it, perdón, perdón. When, when yes, when do you eat? I eat. I eat. I eat. Cuando I eat in the morning, I eat uh, a mediodía. <laughs> no sé cómo decir mediodía. Y I eat uh, afternoon. Okay. Este hoy, Carla. No, es Ana Ruth. Ana Ruth. Hola, Hola Ana Ruth. Vaya, pregúnteme. ¿En food o Friday o Friday? My birthday is 20 October. Ok. How do you celebrate it? How? How do? Okay. Oh, I love watching. El qué? I love watching. Ah, okay, okay. And you, Wendy, what presents do you like? Uh, and you, telephone. Okay. La última. I like. I like telephone. I okay. like telephone. Ah, okay. No olvide el verbo. What meaning freedom, my friend, do you push your... La grande no se logra ver. Y invite, creo que se dice. ¿Cómo se dice, Ticha? Invite. How many friends do you usually invite? Invite. ¿Y eso quiere significar? A invite. ¿A, cuántos, a cuántos? cuántas personas o amigos invita a su cumpleaños? Usualmente invita. Ah. Ah. I invite usually three friends. Me too. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I usually invite three friends. Ah, okay. I usually invite three friends. And yeah. you, Jorge? Hello. Victor, what do Hello. you like is? Siempre en las holidays. What do you like is? Sí, ahí. We do you like it? Why do you like it? ¿Por qué te gusta? Ajá. Sí, eso. Usted va a decir, I like it. Ajá, ¿por qué? Ver. ¿Cómo yo celebré it? I celebré eh, it pastel. I celebrated Excellent. eating pastel, eating cake. Eating, eating cake. Uh -huh. um, what present do you like? I like present. Um, Benning, mira el niño. I pre, I like present. Eh, que me gusta de todo. <risa> Quiero ver un regalo ¿Qué tipo de regalo le gusta? Ajá. Ajá. Eh, un, eh, ¿Cómo se diría un reloj? Yo creo que... Watch. Hay present... Hay eh, like I present... Hay like. like present... Watch. Ok. Hay like watch. Hay like watch. Huma... How many friends do you usually invite? Invite? Usually invite? Uh, how many friends? Usually, usually not, not usually. <laughs> not usually. Uh -huh. But in this no case, usually. in this case, uh, what they are asking you, Irma, is how many? Cuantos? How many friends? How many friends? Friends. ¿Cuántos amigos invito? Permítame, Rafael. Ah, ¿cuántos amigos invita a su fiesta? Ah, Debe estar con otro. 
Hi, you finished already. Uh, no, hello, teacher. Teacher, uh, a question, one question. Uh -huh. uh, when when uh, uno quiere, cuando uno quiere responder, más bien le vas a hablar español. Porque, uh -huh. Cuando uno quiere responder, ¿cuántos? Pero con how many. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Tiene que decir un, un número exacto? ¿O puede decir... O, como es, o, o puede decir unos pocos, por ejemplo, a la few. pregunta es, a few, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. A few, yes. Ah, ¿No tenemos que dar una cantidad, teacher? No, no, eh, de hecho, con esas frases, son, ya son frases que expresan cantidad, no una cantidad exacta, pero expresan cantidad. So if you ask me the question, how many friends do you usually invite to your birthday? I would say, not many. Not many, no muchos, right? uh -huh. not many, maybe two or three. Ah, a lot of friends, a lot of friends. Oof, a lot of several friends, right? A lot of friends and muchos. ¿Cómo? Eso, allí que quisiéramos decir que son muchos los amigos invitados. Exactly. A lot of, a lot of. significa muchos. Igual que many mm -hmm. también significa muchos. Many, mucho. Y si okay. queremos decir pocos a mí. A few. Uh -huh. A few. A few. A few. Eso es unos pocos. Okay. Unos pocos. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any other question. Be back. Okay, bye bye. Eh, no, no, no. Sorry, ¿y cómo se ¿Cómo se dice sabor? Flavor. Flavor. My favorite. Eh... Ay. Pero Flavor. si. ¿Qué Pero, quiere decir? Ah, eh, por el sabor. Me gusta por el sabor. I like it because of the flavor. I like it. Because of the flavor. Because the flavor. Because of the flavor. Because of the flavor. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it because of the flavor. Repeat. I like because. I like. Ay, no. se me traba la lengua. Okay. Ponga atención. Primero ponga atención, no, no se ponga nervioso porque no es examen. Okay? I like it because of the flavor. I like because the flavor. No, flavor. 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 I like because flavor. I like it. I like it because of because of the flavor. The flavor. I, I like it. it. I like it. Both of, of, of the favor. The, the flea. Flavor. 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 Okay. Good. Continue. Okay. And you, Jorge, why do you like it? Jorge, why do you like it? Jorge. I see the point. I flavor. I I flavor. Flavor. ¿Qué quiere Because, decir usted? Por el buen sabor o o por the good taste. Por el buen sabor. Because of the taste. Lo mismo que, que está respondiendo eh, su compañera. Sí, por el buen sabor. Ok, ¿any other reason why? ¿Alguna otra razón? Mm, If not, we we'll repeat esa. the same. I like it because of the flavor. 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 Because of. Or because. Uh, because of. 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 Because of.
because I like of. it because of, because of the, fa the, fa the flavor. Okay. Very good. Now, I think we should go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, hola. No, no estamos en grupo. Ah. Este. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Right. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna start with Elsie. Elsie, can you ask some questions to Santos? Ask uh, what topics do you practice, Elsie? Food. Food. Okay. Okay, ask about holidays. Holly. Holidays. Eh, pregunta y respuesta, yo misma. Usted oh. le va a preguntar a Santos. Ah, okay. Santos. Santos what is your... Oh. Uh, favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is uh, three, 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 one, December. Okay. Oh, New Year's. Okay. Three, one, December. Okay. El 31 de diciembre. Entonces va a decir yeah. New What? Year's Eve. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. ¿Tanto? Why Dígame. do you like it? Why, Why do you like it? I I like it because happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Santos, what do you eat and drink on this day? What do you eat and drink on this day? I I eat. Pardon. Uh, I eat uh, chicken and drink coffee on this day. Okay. Santos, where do you eat it? Well, well, el speed no well. sé qué es, teacher. Oh, for example, I spent New Year's Eve in my mom's house. Oh. I spent, ¿en dónde pasas tú, tú esa, esa, esa festividad? Ah, ah ok. I, 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 I speak in my home. I spend it, spend it in my home. I spend in my home. Okay, very good, Elsie, excellent. Thank you, Santos. Very good job, right? Now, okay. Elsie, choose a person. Santos, choose another person. Que no sea en estos momentos ni Caroline, ni Jose David, ni Robinson, porque veo que se van movilizando de un lugar a otro. Así que escojan a otras, a otras dos personas. Elsie, usted escoja uno. Santos escoja a alguien más. Blanca. Blanca, ok. ¿En Santos? Uh, sería uh, Ana, Ana Ruth. Ana Ruth. Ana, you make the questions. Blanca, you answer. Ok. Hello, Ana Ruth. <laughs> Hello. Ana, start. Question, yo. Yep. Uh, food, le pregunto. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. What is your favorite dish? My favorite dish is fish fries. Uh, who do you like it? Why? Because have a good flavor. Uh, when do you... When do you eat it? Do you eat it? I eat it when I go to the beach. 
How often do you cook it? I don't cook it, but I I eat it twice a year when I go to the beach. Okay, okay. very good. Excellent work. Thank you so much. Just three phrases. Fry fish. Fry fish. Fry why? Fish. Uh -huh. why? Why? Uh -huh. Why? Oh. And eat it. I eat it. Eat. Ana Ruth, eat. 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 Okay. ¿Por qué? Why. 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 No why. es we, es why. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Ana, why? choose another person. Blanca, choose another one. Victor. Victor, very good. En Blanca. Es si va a escoger, ¿verdad, Blanca? Rafael. Sí. <laughs> so, Victor and Rafael. Victor asks the questions. Rafael, give the answers. Okay. Uh, Rafael, what is your favorite movie? Okay, okay give me a Hi. moment. How you doing? Listen to the questions, Rafael. Mm -hmm. Yes, well. ¿Cuál es su tema, Victor? Movies. Movies, okay. Okay, excellent. Repeat, what is your favorite movie? My, my favorite movie is Mortal Kombat. Okay. okay. Why do you like it? I like is popcorn. Okay. When do you usually watch movie? I am usually to watch the movie two two weekend for months. Okay. Okay. Who are you the actor dear? My actor dear is Bruce Willy. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, Rafael, who are the actors in the Immortal Kombat? Um, I remember Kane, his name is Kane. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. So Victor choose another person and Rafael choose another one and we continue with another activity. Wendy? Sorry. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Salma Mabel. Salma Mabel. Salma. Okay. Uh, Wendy ask the questions. Salma, you answer. Okay. Sharia. Eh, birthday. Okay. Birthday, Sharia. What is your birthday? Salma? No, Salma no está. Escojamos alguien. Irma, Irma, conteste usted. When is your birthday? My birthday is 24, ¿cómo se dice? 24. 24 de, de December. 24 of December, ok. How do you celebrity eat? I celebrity eat um, the past the cake uh, with parent. Okay. What present do you like? Uh, 
I like watch. How many freedoms do you usually um, invite? I usually ten friends. Okay. I usually invite ten friends. Very good. Invite. Repeat, invite. Wendy. Invite. In invite. Friends. 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 Very good. Thank you so much, in guys. Thank you for participating uh, in the activity. Right? Invite. Uh, ¿Qué le dije que era invite? Que, uh, que invita. Uh -huh. Invitar. Ah, ah okay. Invitar. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to show you right now another topic here. Well, we have another topic, but I would like everyone to be there. I don't know. How long would you take, uh, Caroline, to get to your place? ¿Cuánto se va a tardar, Caroline, en llegar? It's five minutes. Teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, uh, so we can, uh, we have everyone. We need to pay attention to the next topic, okay? So in the meantime, we're gonna do this exercise, right? In the next five minutes. What are we doing here? We need to match. We don't know right now the possible answers, but let's match it, right? So we have this. What time does she get up? And we have five possible answers, right? So let's put it together, please. Let's put it together. Let's put it together. Let's match it. Conectemos las preguntas con las posibles respuestas. Vamos. Robinson, usted ya va a llegar también. Para que pongan atención todos. Espero que sí. Teacher, la hora está preguntando ahí, ¿verdad? En la primera web time, dos, hit up. Yes, yes, that's correct, Wendy. Does she get up? Get up. Get up. Okay. Put the answers. Not yet, Victor. Contesta primero y después las compartimos. No, Teacher, deme un momento, me voy a salir porque ya se me va a descargar el celular, me voy a pasar a la compra. Ok. Do you finish? Do you have questions about the vocabulary? I am preguntas.
I think you have the answers, right? So let's check. We have there number one. What time does she get up? What do you have for number one? What time does she get up? Let's see. She get, get, see. gets up at seven. She get. gets up at seven, okay? Seven. She gets up at seven. How does she go to school? No, oh, she don't. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh -huh. She she walks to school. She walks to school. Very good. She walks to school. Now we have number three. Does she have breakfast every day? No, she doesn't. Oh, she, oh, she doesn't. doesn't. Good. What does she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. She does her homework. When does she go to bed? She goes. Uh -huh. She goes. Ten. She goes to bed at 10. Very well. So there, guys, we have, right, the, all the answers for this. I want you to practice with me pronunciation, okay? I need... Okay, I need someone to help me, right? No sé, yo me escucho hablando, chicos. Quiero ver que el micrófono encendido. No, it's just me. Okay, I need you to please help me. I'm going to make the questions and someone is going to answer as well right someone is gonna answer so let's go ahead and listen right now uh, Blanca please help me right you're going to give me the answers right. what time does she get up she gets up at seven how does she go to school she walks to a school does she have breakfast every day no, she doesn't. Okay. What does she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. When does she go to bed? She goes to bed at 10. At 10. Very good. Thank you so much, Blanca. Now, I will want just the same thing that we did with Blanca. You're going to do it with a classmate, okay? Let's start. Jose David, you're going to practice with Elsie. What is Elsie? Elsie? Okay, you ask the questions, Jose David. Elsie, you answer. Okay, teacher. Uh, what time does she get up? Elsie? Hello. Tenía apagado el micrófono. Sorry. Um, she gets she gets up at seven. Okay. How does she go to school? 
She went to school. Okay. Uh, does she have breakfast every day? No, she doesn't. What does she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. When does she go to bed? She goes to bed at 10. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Jose and Elsie. Now I wanna I want to listen to Claudia and Rafael. Claudia, you ask the questions, Rafael, you answer. Yes. Okay, uh, teacher. Bye. What time do she get? Hola. What time do she get? Ok, de nuevo, por favor pregunte y luego usted responde. What time does she get up? She get, yes, she get up seven. How does she go to the school? She, she walks, she walks to the school. Does she have breakfast every day? Does she have Brefa, um, no, 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 no repita la pregunta, solo responda. No, uh -huh. no te hacen. Ok. Um, what does she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. Uh, when does she, do, she go to bed? She goes to bed at 10. Okay, she goes to bed at 10. Very good, Claudia and Rafael. Let's listen to Santos and Caroline. Santos, make the questions, Caroline, you answer. Okay. What I don't, what I don't, she got up? She get up at seven. Who don't she go to school? Go to school. Don't she have breakfast every day? No, she doesn't. What don't she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. When don't she go to bed? To she, got, she goes at 10. She goes to bed at 10. Very good. Thank you, Santos and Caroline. Now let's listen to Robinson. Robinson, you made the questions and Jorge is going to answer. Jorge, yo. Jorge Alexander. Hoy no está el otro Jorge. Ah, ok. <laughs> ¿Quién pregunta? Él o yo. Él pregunta, usted responde. What, what she doesn't head to? Mm -hmm. She get up um, at seven. How does she, doesn't she go to school? She walks to the school. Doesn't she? Every we are for every day. No, she doesn't. Uh, what don't she do in like afternoon? She she doesn't her homework. We doesn't she go to be? She, she goes to be at 10. At 10, okay, very good. Now I want you to repeat, Robinson, you repeat the answers with me and Jorge, you're gonna mm -hmm. repeat the, sorry, Robinson, the questions and you repeat Jorge the answers, okay? So let's start with Robinson. Repeat, please. Okay. What time does... What time? Okay, what time does she get up? What time she is 
she get up? Does she get up? Very good. How does she go to school? Repeat, por favor. Yes. How does she go to school? How does she go to school? Okay. Does she have breakfast every day? Does she have, have every day? Breakfast every day? Breakfast every day. Very good. What does she do in the afternoon? What does she do in every day? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Very good. When does she go to bed? When does she go to bed? Okay, very good. Uh, Jorge, repeat. She goes to okay. bed at 10. She goes to bed at 10. She walks to school. She walks to, to school. She gets up at 7. She gets up at 7. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, okay. she doesn't. Okay. She does her homework. She does her homework. Very good. Thank you so much, guys. Now, we have finished there with this ex uh, exercise. Right. Let's continue here with another topic. Now, after this explanation, we're going to do more exercises with WH questions. Vamos a hacer más ejercicios con las WH questions. Pero quiero también mostrarles eh, un tema nuevo utilizando otra WH questions. Okay. That is. First, we need to learn on how to tell the time. This is the topic, okay? How to tell the time, right? So that's what we're going to do today, right? We're going to learn how to tell the time. So to start with this, we're going to make a clock, right? Uh, I think everyone knows how to say the time in English. I creo que todos podemos decir la, la, perdón, todos sabemos cómo decir la hora en, en español, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? ¿El reloj antiguito? ¿No lo podemos? Yes. Yes. Okay. Espero que sí. Uh -huh. If not, si no se lo pueden, lo van a aprender. No se preocupen. So, we have here a clock. We're going to make a clock today. Right, this is my clock, and in my clock, right, I need to put some time. So let me put here the middle, right, the middle of my clock. One moment, right. So I have this. This one is going to tell me. This arrow is going to tell me first the hour. What is happening here? Okay, there we are. The hour, right? And the other one is going to tell me the minutes, okay? One, the hours, right? The hour. And the other one is going to tell me the minutes, okay? Hour, minutes, right? It's going to be the same as in Spanish. And we have different times. Well, we had the first one is 12, right? Then we're going to have three, right? After three, we're going to have six. Then what do we have? We have nine, right? Nine. So there we are, right? The different times in the clock. This is a clock. We supone que es un reloj. Se entiende, más o menos. Right, we have there 
12, 3, 6, and 9. Besides those numbers, what other numbers we have? We have other numbers, for example, we have one, right? One, and we have two, right? One, two, three, perfect. One, two, and three, to work with them. Then we're gonna have four, and five, five, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Then six, seven, listen to the pronunciation of the numbers, eight. Eight. Eight, thank you. Eight. eight. Then we have nine and 10. 10. Okay. okay, and then 11, right? Now, 11. this is going to be our clock, and this is what we're going to use today, right? To tell the time, right? Now, what happens with the time? The time we're going to divide it into options, okay? We're going to divide it in two, we're going to split it, divide, right? Now, how are we going to divide it? Here, we're gonna make a line, right? I'm gonna make a line here in the clock. It's gonna go, let me make another color. We're gonna use red, okay? No fue el kinder, así que las líneas me quedan pandas. Ay, me disculpa, right? So, we got there, it's a split it, okay? So when we say it's split, it's because in this part of the clock, right? Where it says one, two, three, four, five, six, we are going to use the word past, okay? We're going to use the word past, 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 past. And seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we're going to word the word, we're going to use the word two. Two, okay, two. So past and two, okay? Ya, cada lado ya está dividido y así se va a utilizar. A este lado utilizo past, a este lado utilizo two, okay? ¿Se comprende hasta el momento? El reloj está dividido. Media hora una palabrita, la otra media hora. Quiere decir que no puedo utilizar en la primera mitad del reloj, no puedo utilizar to. En la segunda mitad del reloj no puedo utilizar past. ¿Ok? Simple y sencillo. Por eso lo estamos dividiendo. Now, what do we have? Right? For example, right? For example, the question, well, the main question that we have, la, la pregunta más, más común y corriente que vamos a escuchar, right? It's the following. We're always going to be asked, right? What time is it? What time is it? Esa es la pregunta, right? What time is it? Now, for this question, it will depend on the time. For example, you can see the clock right now, it's two, and then we have here, we're gonna put it like the oops, like this. It is, we're going to say two options. Number one, it's two twenty, right? It is two twenty. So it is two twenty. Right? Las dos y veinte. Son las dos y veinte. It's 220. Number two, it's 20 past two. It's 20 past two. Okay? Two options. Now, let's make another one. If I have here the clock and I have, for example, this. Right. 
right? What time is it? What time is it? Primero lo decimos de la forma más fácil. What time is it? It's. ¿Qué hora es? Five. 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 Okay, five, five. Very good. But in this case, como son las cinco y cinco, y no hay entre el, entre el uno y el nueve, deberíamos poner así en, 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 España, en el reloj, right? Cinco y cinco. Y está esto, miren, este cero, right? Este, este cero. Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a decir? It's five. Oh, oh. Five. five. Thank you. Five oh five. Right? It is five oh five. Right? And then what would be number two? What would be the option number two? Tell me. ¿Cómo creen ustedes que sería la opción número dos? It's five past five. It's five past five. Right? It's five past five. Excellent. Right? So that would be the options, right, for this half of the clock, okay? Now, let me just put something here. One moment. We got the word past. Teacher. Past. Yes. Question. Yes? Eh, ¿Quién determina si es past o es tú? El, el, ¿La hora o el minutero? ¿El horómetro o el minutero? El minuto. El minuto. Todos los, los primeros 30 minutos son past. Los... Sí, pero por lo menos si, si son las, si faltan 10, pa, o son las, faltan 10 para las 6, para las 4, pues puede ser. Uh -huh. Que el, el, el minutero, el horómetro está en paz y el de los minutos está en tú. Ajá, pero entonces serían los minutos. Sí, man, los los minutos. minutos, los minutos mandan. Correcto, okay. los minutos mana. Los minutos mana. Sí. Eso nos lleva a nuestro siguiente ejemplo. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What time is it again? Right? What time is it? Right, that's the question. Now, vamos a hacer el ejemplo, lo que está preguntando en estos momentos eh, José David. Right? We got this. Three. Right? Three. And then we got this, right? Now, if we have this, the clock like that, right? Our answer is going to be, it's, la más fácil, it's three, 40. No, 350, right? And then we put Dios mío, 350, right? So we're gonna put it here, it's three, 50. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the, diffic the difficult option, right? Because it's not difficult. It's 10 to 4. It's 10 to 4. It's 10 to 4. Right? En un, re un reloj real, este es esta, esta agujita está un poquito más abajo, ¿verdad? Ya está casi llegando acá. Pero aquí, para efecto de, de, de recordarnos el número, lo vamos a dejar ahí. It's 10 to 4, right? Now, let's continue there with another example. Right? Let's see there. What could be, what time is it here? What time is it? What time is it? 7.45. Okay. It's 7.45. It's 7.45. Okay. It's 7.45. Option number two. It's uh, 15 to 8. To 8. Beautiful. It's 15. Is 15 to 8. Perfect. Now, what happens with this? We're going to see other options right now for this type of examples, okay? Now, 
Let me go ahead and just select here because I'm gonna show you other words that are important, right? For us to know this, right? We have this. Now, what happens when the time is exactly like this, right? When we have the time, sorry, exactly like this, right? Now, what we're going to say, right? This word, it's seven o'clock. Okay? Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm, exactly. Right? It's seven o'clock. Now, this is normal, normal or daily, daily time, right? Some people on the streets, like in an informal way, they will say it's seven sharp. Right. informal manner of saying it, in the forma informal, valga la redundancia, it's seven sharp, right? This will be seven o'clock. Now, if we have, for example, this time, right? Let's see, we have two. And this clock is right here. We're gonna have two options, right? Look at that. Two thirty. Right? It's two thirty. Very good. It's two thirty. Right? Son las dos y media. It's two thirty. But we can also say it's half past two. Okay. It's half past two. It's half past two. No decimos it's 30 after two. Sino que decimos it's half past two. Okay? So we need to pay attention to this, to this words. Half past. Right? Half past. O'clock. And sharp. Right? Do we understand that to this moment? ¿Se entiende hasta este momento lo que estamos haciendo? Yes. Yes. Profe, yo tengo otra pregunta. Yeah. Digamos Go ahead. que lo que preguntó José David ahora, si mm -hmm. fuera, digamos, eh, al revés, donde el orómetro está en two y el minutero en PAX, entonces sería. Siempre va a mandar el, el minutero, ¿cierto? Eh, no le entendí, permítame. ¿Cómo, cómo fue? ¿Cómo fue? Eh, don José David ahorita preguntó que si, por ejemplo, el orómetro, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Está en PAX y el minutero está en, en tú, el que manda ese tú, ¿cierto? Es uh -huh. donde va el minutero. Pero si está al revés, dice usted. Sí, correcto. El que va a mandar siempre es el minutero. Exacto. Yes, that is correct. So here, if it's, it's 10, right? It's uh, 20 past 10. Right? If we have it like this, it would be, it's 20 past 10. It is Gracias. also the same. Thank you so much, Robinson. Now, do we understand these phrases, these words? Yes. Yes? But yes, teacher. Ah? Teacher. You are confused? Está confundida? No. Teacher. No, okay. Sí, Victor? Teacher. Sí, sí Victor? Yo no entendí, ¿por qué las dos opciones? ¿Por qué las dos opciones? Ajá, de uno y dos. Uh, porque así son. Ahí sí no le tengo otra respuesta. Pero así son. Yes. Eh, no. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Eh, en español sí pueden decir lo mismo, pero en inglés es distinto, ya que tú es una preposición que nos lleva a un destino. Es una preposición eh, o la preposición que siempre se va a utilizar para destination. Okay. Entonces, ya sea que usted se mueva a algún lugar o que algo se mueve hacia algo. Entonces, en este caso, los minutos se mueven hacia la siguiente hora. Entonces, por eso utilizamos la preposición to. Ok. 
okay? Entonces, acá, cuando llegamos a la hora, no sé si, han, si alguno de ustedes alcanzó a escuchar la radio. En la radio se decían los locutores, son las, eh, eh, son las una de la tarde pasadas 40 minutos. Right? Entonces, era la 1.40. Teacher, la asistencia. Eh, sí, ya. Eh, entonces, eh, pero ahorita expliquemos eso. Esto me importa más. <ríe> ya están aquí. Ok. El este... Pero en español se dice, la hora se dice un poquito más, más distinta. ¿Ok? Porque podemos ocupar, utilizar la, la, la palabra pasado en todo, el, en todo el reloj. Y aquí no. Es estrictamente para esto. ¿Ok? De hecho, hay dos palabritas más que podríamos utilizar sustituyendo to y past. ¿Ok? Hay dos palabritas más que se pueden utilizar. Entonces, en este caso... Podría, estas son las que más se utilizan. Pero también usted puede utilizar after. 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 O podría utilizar también la palabrita before. Right? After and before. Solo sustituyendo. Me escuchan bien, ¿Me escuchan bien los demás? Yes. Yes. Entonces yes. es internet, corazón. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué tenemos aquí? Si te, su, solamente sustituyamos la palabra to por las dos nuevas que hemos puesto. Por ejemplo, aquí puede decir, it's 10 before 4. It's 15 before 8. Right? It's 20 after 2. It's 5 after 5. Right? So we could say that as well. Podríamos sustituir esas palabras, pero eh, casi, casi okay, un 20% de la población lo utiliza. Entonces vamos a aprendernos esto con two. ¿Verdad? Two. Teacher. You have it in mind. Yes? In, in my work, my boss is after and before. Every, and every day. Ok. Ok. Teacher, o sea que en, en resumida cuenta, en español somos informales para, para decir la hora y en no. inglés se pronuncia en una forma. Es que cada idioma es distinto. Cada idioma es distinto. Ajá. Ajá. Ahí cada, cada idioma va a respetar sus reglas. Esta es la sí, regla por... de inglés. Ajá. Ajá, correcto. Porque por lo menos para decir las 10 en punto, tendríamos que decir it's 10 o'clock, ¿verdad? Porque si, si a un americano nos pregunta qué hora son y nosotros le decimos it's ten, nos va a preguntar it's ten, como que las 10 y qué, ¿verdad? Pero también puede... Y por lo menos aquí nosotros son las 10. Son las 10, ajá, o oh, las 10, correcto. Pero también se aplica eso, de que usted le va a decir son las 10 en, cual, en cualquier otra, en cualquier otra eh, situación. Y en inglés también existe una informalidad. Si usted va con sus amigos to, o todos estuviéramos en un salón de clase, ¿qué hora es? Ah, it's 9.15, son las 9.15. It's 10. Oh. Entonces también lo puede decir eh, omitiendo la parte del o'clock o del sharp. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Correcto. Thank you, Jorge, for your comments. Thank you very much. ¿Alguien más? Entendemos cómo se dice, esto es solamente cómo se dice la hora, ¿ok? Esto es específico para la pregunta, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? ¿Ok? ¿Qué hora es? ¿Entendemos esta parte? ¿Sí? sí. ¿Tomaron nota? Cuando son, la, Ajá. Cuando son las dos, cuando son las dos en punto, ¿cómo se dice? Las dos en punto. 12, las 12. The same. Las 12. It's sí, 12 o'clock. It's oh, 12 o'clock. Okay. 12 o'clock. Ok. It's 12 o'clock. Thank, Thank you, Ezequiel. 12 o'clock. ¿Alguien más?
Okay, so if we don't have questions, we're gonna continue with the exercises, right? But sí, I want the, to, yes, Wendy? The pleasure, se dice, por decirle, cuando usted estornuda, verdad? Pleasure. Ah, bless you. Uh -huh. Bless you. Uh, bless you, yes. Ah, okay. Now, we're going to continue here if we don't have, if you don't have questions, right? We go with the next part, right? The next question is, what time do you? Right, what time do you plus the activity? Right, what time do you? This is going to be the phrase that we're gonna use, right? What time do you? Now, when we say this, for example, what time do you get up? What time do you get up? Right? The answer, I get up at, in my case, I get up, I get up at 7.30 a.m. Right? I get up at 7.30 a.m. When we are using, right, a specific time, right, we need to use the word at, right? So we have what time plus an activity, right? So we can make another question here. What time do you, sorry. Do you eat lunch? Caroline, what time do you eat lunch? I eat lunch at 12 I eat lunch at 12 o'clock. Very good. 12 o'clock. Perfect. Right? At 12 o'clock. Now let's see Ezequiel. What time, sorry, <coughs> what time do you start working? I, I start working at seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, okay. Yeah. Okay, seven o'clock. In the morning or in the afternoon? In the evening? In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. And, and mm -hmm. in the morning and night. Uh, and at night. Sometimes yeah, uh, at night. A veces a la noche. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes at night. Okay, very good. Let's see uh, Jose David. What time do you send reports to your boss every week? Okay. Uh, I send reports. I send report uh, at five, at, at five a.m. Every day. Every week. Every week. Okay. Every week. Okay. Perfect. 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 So you see, we have there our questions and our answers. Look at this. Pay attention. We can have AM. Podemos tener AM. O podemos decir in the morning. Okay. Podemos decir en la mañana. AM. O podemos decir in the morning. Ok, in the morning. Entonces también podemos decir PM en la tarde. PM. Or in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Now, do you have a question about how to say what time? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta hasta este momento? Teacher dijo que íbamos a usar a cuando habláramos de, de hora en específica. Exacto. Exacto. Por ejemplo, acá le estoy preguntando a qué hora eh, realiza usted o realizan ellos cada una de estas actividades. Get up. 
Okay. Eat lunch. Start working. Send reports to his boss, right? Send report to his boss. These are the specific activities. Entonces yo, su, su usted va a hacer esa pregunta cuando usted quiere saber a qué hora se hace eso. Uh -huh. Si usted no tiene una hora específica, puede utilizarlo así. Eh, hágame una pregunta, Blanca. What time? What time do you take a shower? <laughs> do you take a shower? Ok. Non-specific. No es específica. Yo no se la voy a responder específicamente. Ok. I take a shower around... 9, 9 a.m. Okay. I take a shower around, around 9 a.m. What do you think is the meaning of around? Around. Aproximadamente o alrededor. Alrededor de aproximadamente. Right? Around. Cuando usted no, no tiene una hora concreta, usted puede utilizar around. Otra palabrita que puedo utilizar es at, about, pero eso no está usado. Sobre todo around or at. ¿Entendemos esta parte? Si no entendemos, digan. Así vamos, bueno, ya vamos a hacer más ejemplos, así que no nos aplicamos. ¿Alguien tiene preguntas acerca de esto? No, teacher. Ay, o sea que siempre en, el, en las actividades que ya tenemos establecidas, teacher, eh, un horario por lo menos cuando salimos a trabajar a la hora que nos levantamos utilizaríamos eso. Por lo menos si le preguntaríamos a alguien a qué hora lavas tu ropa, como no tenemos una hora en específico, se responde de la siguiente manera. ¿no? Exacto. Eso va a depender de la persona que realiza la actividad. Uh -huh. Eso es bien personal. Esas respuestas son bien Así personales. Bien. No todos tenemos la misma rutina. Okay, Uno se levanta a las 1, otros a las 8, otros a las 3 de la mañana. <laughs> right? Ok. So let's continue. No hay más preguntas. Seguimos. Seguimos, sí. sí. Ok. Paramos. No, okay. Ya vienen las cumbias. Ok, let's continue. <laughs> Ya en el temporada de la cumbia. Right. Now, let me call the attendants. Vamos a pasar la asistencia rapidito. Ana Ruth Rivas. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra. Presente. Claudia Milet. Presente. El sino de mí. Presente teacher. Irma Beatriz. Presente teacher. Javier Antonio. Jorge Alexander Valencia. Presente, teacher. José Carlos. José David. Present, teacher. Carola y Silva. Present. Mielna Ramos. Rafael Barrera. Present, teacher. Robinson Moreno. Present, teacher. Salma Mabel. Santo Ezequiel. Presente, teacher. Wendy Guadalupe. Presente, teacher. Víctor Antonio. Presente. Ok, perfect. Now let's continue here. Give me a moment. Okay. Now we're gonna continue working with some exercises, right, related to time. Let me access the book. I want you to go to page 33. Vámonos a la página 33. Page 33. Okay. 
You can see here Mrs. Mrs. Robles agenda. Mrs. Robles agenda. Right? So let's read Mrs. Robles agenda. Leamos Mrs. Robles agenda juntos. Right? I would like you to start, please, Jose David. Uh, read 715. Okay. Uh, 715. Meeting with the marketing department. Very good. 830. Jorge Alexander. Leal de las ocho y media, Jorge. Ahorita, dice. Junto con ahora, ¿verdad? Yeah. 813. No. Video eight, call. Ajá. Uh -huh. 8. 830. 830, ok. 830. Video call with the super, supervisor from West Company. Ok, thank you. 9. Blanca. Yes, teacher. Nine. Nine workshop. workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. Okay, thank you so much. Twelve, Elsie. Twelve, uh, workshop, lunch. Thank you, Irma, one forty-five. Uh, workshop launch. Next one, one forty-five. Uh, what? Second. Uh, a second part of the workshop. Thank you, Irma. Caroline, five fifty-five. Five fifty-five. Say tomorrow. Schedule to Miss Lopez, new secretary, and left. And left. Okay. Very good. This is an agenda, okay? Of course, it's not complete. We have a lot of things that are missing. Falta muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Pero lo más principal. So we have this agenda. And based, with this, based on this, we're going to answer these three questions, right? Number one, read the question. Solo lea, solo lea la pregunta, por favor, Rafael. Read the question, number one. What time is the video call with the West Company? Thank you so much. Number two, please read the question. Ana Ruth? What time does the workshop why the research department start? Very good. A research. Repeat. Research. 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 Excellent. And number three, Claudia. Um, what time uh, does the company close? Close. Very good. What time does the company close? Now, those are the questions. Very easy questions, right? Ya tienen las preguntas. En la agenda están las respuestas. Okay. So let's look for the answers. Okay. ¿Ya terminaron? ¿No? ¿Ya casi? Lo puede volver a poner, teacher, por favor. Yes. No se mira. No se no, mira. No, no lo veo. El de arriba. Permíteme. ¿Ahora? Ah, la agenda. La agenda está en su libro. ¿No tiene libro ahorita? No, hay don. ¿Y sus libros, hipotes? Le voy a mandar la agenda ahí al, al chat, pero deben okay. tener su agenda. 
su libro, perdón, deben tenerlo ahí disponible. Okay, there we are. I'm sending right now to the chat. The agenda. Ya se las envié ahí, eh, Victor y Ana Ruth. Ya está en el chat de WhatsApp. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, uh, what is workshop? Workshop, uh, I don't know if they do this in your company, but workshop is what we receive, right, as employees to get more information about an ability, about a new product, right, or about a process that we need to implement in the class, right? So for example, I go to workshops every Friday so I can be updated with the new teaching techno technology or methodologies. So workshop will be like in the Spanish, uh, taller, taller, it's workshop. Mm -hmm. Thank you teacher. You're welcome. Tell me when you have finished, please. Me avisan cuando hayan terminado. Did you finish? No se ven, man, yo sé que están cansados. Ya es viernes. Very good, very good, Rafael. 
ya casi terminamos, ya casi, ya casi. Por lo que falta no terminamos. Yo creo que ya terminé. No sé si la hice bien, pero ah, ya no, terminé. No se preocupe si es errores. Excellent. So let's see here. Number one is going to be for Rafael. Number two, Ezequiel. And number three, Blanca. Okay, number one, Rafael. What time is the video call? West Company. Mm -hmm. It's a twenty. It is. It's. It is a twenty. Okay. ¿Qué palabra 30, debe utilizar? Okay. ¿Qué palabra debe utilizar cuando está utilizando una hora específica? It is. ¿Le falta Pass. algo? No. ¿Le falta algo aquí? It is pass. It is at. It is at 8.20. It is at. 8.20. Okay. Very good. I'm sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Usted se puede equivocar. No se preocupe. Number two. Ezequiel. Uh, at, at A is the workshop in, in the department. Ok. Empezamos con el, con el sujeto. The workshop. The workshop is. Ajá. The workshop is at a at eight okay in the department in the in the department in the department in the department vale okay. pero esa ya es información extra okay no, esa información uh, no se preocupe uh, okay. le están preguntando uh, la hora what time right what time okay. eso es lo importante it is at the workshop is at eight at eight okay en number three, Blanca. What time does the company close? At nine. Uh, at five, fifteen, five. Okay. 15. It okay. It closes. It closes at five two no, five two six. Five to six, very good. At five to six, very good. Thank you so much, Blanca. Right, these are the answers. Están todos de acuerdo con estas respuestas? Teacher, mm -hmm. and number one is at eight thirty. Eight thirty, okay. No es a las ocho y veinte. It's eight thirty, okay. It's eight thirty, okay. What In order? Number two. Yes, teacher. Eight, eight o'clock. Había puesto yo y me equivoqué cuando leí la respuesta. <laughs> Number two is? Nine. At nine. At nine. Okay. At nine. The workshop is at nine. Okay. Ahora ya tenemos las respuestas correctas. Verifiquen ahí. Yes, right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y ahí no importa si es AM o PM. Así, así queda. No, it doesn't matter. Ya se, ya, se, ya se sobreentiende con la agenda que nos dan. A qué horas empiezan las actividades. Entiende a qué hora van a comenzar. En la mañana. Por ejemplo, si usted está en la mañana hablando con alguien, eh, no es necesario decir AM o PM porque ya está en ese momento hablando. Okay. Si usted lo quiere especificar, puede hacerlo, pero no es obligación. Ok, very good. Let's continue. Okay, otra pregunta, qué pena. No, dale, dale, dale. Pregunte todo lo que tiene que preguntar. 
por ejemplo, eh, ahí no sería, digamos, que como la hora militar. No se manejaría la hora mil, militar. Las 1755. No, ni yo me la puedo. <ríe> no. <ríe> no, por ejemplo, no, no sería... Eh, Sí manejan hora militar en Estados Unidos, sí se maneja, pero en, eh, en eventos oficiales. Cuando Digamos, está, ¿ajá? En este caso no, no entraría. No, en este caso no. En este caso no. Pero si es una conversación, eh, por ejemplo, entre doctores eh, que utilizan bastante la hora militar, doctores, soldados, eh, sí la van a utilizar y la van a escuchar. Entonces van a decir, en vez de las cinco van a decir 1700, right? 1700. Sí, Dígame, Rafael. Uh, por, por lo general en nuestro trabajo, prácticamente sí lo ocupamos. Pero acá, eh, para la hora, siempre vamos a ocupar la hora normal. No, 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 sí, pero nos, o sea, nos, ya nos adaptamos al sistema de ellos. Ah, ok. A, a, ajá. De 7 a... 7 a 12. De 7 a 12 y de... 13 a... To 5, to 17. Ajá. 17. Ajá. Ese sería, en esa, esa sería la hora de 24 horas, el reloj de 24 horas. El otro que dice, que dice Robinson, ya es el militar, ya es, 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 se lee un poquito eh, más distinto. Las 1300, las 1400, eh, ya serían, las 5 serían... 1700, ya sería un poco más distinto. Pero no, no lo vamos a aprender aquí. Ajá. No, no. La, 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 mi pregunta era es así, de las 24 horas. No digamos que solamente de 12 y ya 12, 1, 2, 3 otra vez, sino 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Las puede utilizar y la regla del to y el pass es la misma. ¿Mm? Podemos decir, it's 1755. O es 5 to 18. Puede utilizarla también. Ahí solo usted tiene que hacer la conversión de los números. Cuando ya sea la tarde, pasada la, la mediodía, pues ya lo puedo utilizar. Very good. Thank you, Robinson, for your question. Thank you, Rafael, for the comment. Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? Ana Ruth. Okay, well, let's continue. Right, we continue with the book. Right, in the book, we have more information here. If you see, we have questions, right? And then we have the words that I mentioned to you before. Right, we have it's for what time is it? What time does or what time do you? We have at, at about, or around, right? Estas dos de acá no son específicas. Son horas, como dicen en buen salvadoreño, más o menos a esa hora. Right? Más o menos a esa hora. At sí es específico, right? At 11 o'clock, right? So let's continue here. We have these questions on page... 34, página 34, right? We have five questions that we need to complete. First, it says, complete the question using what time do or what time does. And then we practice the conversation. For example, in number one, it says, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What do you think I should put here? What time do or what time does? What time does? Exactly. What time, do? what time does? Why does, Silvia? Because here we have it. What time does it start? Right. What time does it start? It starts at nine. Right. Now let's continue. Let's continue. You're going to co uh, complete two, three, four, and five. Vamos. Recuérdense, das para he, she, it. Do, I, you, we, and they.
Did you finish? Okay, but. Se me fue el internet, lo siento. Ya estoy de regreso. <risa> Como les decía, aquí hay bastantes palabras nuevas. ¿Ok? So check them out. In case that, aquí hay bastante, bastantes técnicas. Entonces, no tengan pena de preguntar. Carola, you finished? Yes, sir. Okay, you're gonna help me with number two. Who else finished? Hi, teacher. Okay, very good. So let's just start. Well, let me put here what time. Finish. Excellent. What time does here? What do you have in number two, Caroline? Teacher. Great. Huh? What time? What time do you arrive? What time do? Excellent. Thank you. Number three, Mr. Escalante. One moment. Uh, tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. Uh, what time does uh, the photocopy center open? Very it's good. Uh -huh. Six, uh, no, ten, ten um, to seven a.m. Uh, ten to seven a.m. Very good. Thank you, David. Number four, uh, Rafael. No. Okay, uh, Victor, what do you have? Number four. Uh, no teacher. No terminado? What, I, what, what time do? Exactly, very good. What time do? What time do restaurants close? And Robinson, what do you have in number five? Moment, yeah. Okay. What time do? What time do? Exactly. What time do? Now we have these questions right here, right? And the answers. I am going to read the conversations. There are five conversations. I am going to read them. And some of you are, are going to practice pronunciation, okay? Yo voy a leer estas conversaciones y luego vamos a pasar, ¿verdad? para practicar también. Please pay attention. Pongan atención, apaguen sus micrófonos y vean las palabritas que voy pronunciando, por favor, okay? Number one. There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Three. Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at 6.50 a.m. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Okay. Number five, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. Okay. 
Now, I would like to listen for number one, Irma and Elsie. En el nombre que las menciona, así comienzan, ¿ok? Irma and Elsie. Uh, there is a re recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Uh, really, what I do is it start, it start at night. I, I am, I am. Okay. Number two, let me for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What I do, you arrive. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Vamos a trabajar así. En la pregunta, en, la, en el número uno, hay bueno, una conversación. En, una... en la número uno hay una conversación. L la, la letra A significa el primer estudiante. La letra B significa el segundo estudiante. Irma, usted es la letra A. Elsie, usted es la letra B. ¿Ok? Ok. Vamos de nuevo. There is a, a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? What time does it start? It start at... Elsie, you are letter B. It start at, at 9 a.m. Okay, it starts at 9 a.m. Very good. Number two, Wendy Sorry. and Caroline. Left medium for stay meeting on Thursday. On Wednesday, you say? On Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive at 4.25. 8.15, dice ahí, Wendy. 8.15, perdón. Ok. And Repita, and por favor. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. I arrive at 15. Yeah. Escucho, por favor. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. I arrive at 8.15 a.m. At... At 8.15 a.m. 8.15 a.m. Thank you. Uh, continue there, number three. Victor, you letter A. Jose David, you letter B. Okay. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy. Center. Center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It open at 6, 15 p.m. Very good. Thank you so much. Number four, Blanca and Claudia. Wendy, do you want to have dinner with the after? or the workshop? Um, yes. Yes, bye. What I do a restaurant close air? Oh, around 7.25 p.m. Very good. Thank you. Number five. Please help me. Uh, Anna Ruth. Letter A. Robinson letter B. Ana Ruth, encienda su micrófono, no la apague. Five. Yes. Amanda is to take some report to many departments on Monday. And mm -hmm. what I... Okay, usted es letter A. Robinson ah, es letter B. Okay. okay.
Robinson. Hey, what time do you lay open? They open seven and thirteen or past five. Okay, they open around seven. Ah, they, they, open around. they open around seven thirty or eight o five. Repeat. They open around seven and thirty or eight past five. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to continue. Ahí me dijo que ya eran las las cinco y ocho, no las ocho y cinco. Eight past five son las cinco y ocho, no las ocho y cinco. Okay. Now we're gonna continue here. Well, we're gonna continue on Monday. Vamos a continuar el, el, el lunes, por favor. Practiquen el reloj, right? Lo más que puedan. Eh, durante el, bueno, el lunes, porque yo sé que el, el fin de semana es para descansar. Pero practiquen, por favor. Right? Pasamos lista. Ana Ruth Rivas Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elsie Noemi. Hermando Díaz. Irma Beatriz. Present teacher. Javier Antonio. Jefferson Rosa. Jorge Alexander. Present. Jorge Balmore. José Carlos. José David. Present teacher. Caroline. Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Presente. Thank you. Pedro Manuel. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Robinson Alberto. Salma Mabel. Santos Ezequiel. Presente Wendy teacher. Guadalupe. Presente teacher. Marvin Godofredo. Victor Antonio Beltrán. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So today I should stay with Mirna Ramos. Right. The other ones you can disconnect. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Profe, qué pena, no me llamó a lista. Robinson Alberto Moreno Agudelo. No lo llamé, sí. aquí lo anoto. Gracias, Robinson, disculpe. Gracias. Feliz noche. Feliz Salud. noche. Descanse. Hasta luego. Adiós, adiós.